All right, James Madison and Virginia uh, next up. How about this? JMU, the Dukes, a full touchdown favorite on the road in this game, uh, albeit it's a little bit of a uh, state battle here, little brother versus big brother. Uh, but how about little brother laying a touchdown here on the road, a 40 and a half being the total in this game. This is a bet I made early in the week because I said, you know what? I, I know James Madison's going to take money. And sure enough, you know, six and a half, I got James Madison minus six and a half. And now it's painted across the board, minus seven. Um, if you watched Virginia last week, you know why James Madison took some money. And you know why they're a road favorite uh, here in this game. Virginia was terrible. Absolutely awful. Uh, Tony Elliott has not been the answer so far in a, now in year two with Virginia. And we got to ask ourselves, too, with Tony Elliott. You know, how good of a coach and how good of a well, how good of a coordinator was he at Clemson? Because he got the head coaching job at Virginia because of what he did as the offensive coordinator under Dabo Sweeney at Clemson. But when you think about what's happened with Clemson, you know, how much of it was, yeah, a hell of a coordinating job by Tony Elliott. How much of it was, yeah, he got to work with Deshaun Watson and Trevor Lawrence, generational quarterbacks at Clemson uh, for much of your time there. So I've not been impressed with him from a coaching standpoint, from an X's and O's perspective, from an in-game adjustments standpoint. There's nothing I've seen out of Tony Elliott that tells me he's uh, able to handle this position he's in. Uh, it's been rough. Um, you know, even the defense for Virginia, with the offense just lacking a ton of great receivers and skill position talent this year, with the O-line in an absolute shambles. And if you watch that game last week, you know, how, how bad that Virginia offensive line on paper, how bad it looked coming into the season. And it was played out that way in the game against Tennessee uh, last week at Nissan stadium, home of the Titans, four sacks, no ability to get a push at the line of scrimmage and run the football effectively at all. Um, and, th and then of course, at quarterback, you got the musket man. Uh, and no, I'm not talking about that horse that was in the triple crown uh, 15 years ago or whatever, uh, Tony musket, uh, the quarterback for Virginia, just not very good. Only nine completions, not exactly someone that's going to escape the pocket uh, easily. Um, and it was just a disaster on both sides of the ball. Virginia's defense, you know, couldn't really stop Joe Milton and the Tennessee offense, although that's a very difficult offense. And when they get that, that rhythm going and they're, you know, sustaining drives and gaining first downs and they're working their tempo, it can really, really, really just completely uh, wear down and wear out a defense. And we saw that uh, against Virginia last week. And then their offense, they're, they're not the come from behind type of offense. Virginia falls behind in a game this season by like 14 or more points. They're fucked. Seriously. I mean, they have no come from behind poss uh, possibility with their offense in the shape that it's in right now. Um, so that's concerning. Um, look, uh, obviously there's been a reaction to Virginia's poor performance. People know James Madison was well-equipped for FBS football last year. Uh, they were a point spread machine. Uh, they certainly mm -hmm. surpassed expectations with the year they had uh, last year. Um, but man, I'm telling you what, this uh, as much as you would think, hey, we can get seven points here with Virginia as a home dog, there was just nothing really at all, at all to like from them uh, in that game and in that performance last week. So uh, JMU to me, when you look at what they've got, to be honest with you, their defense I think is really, really good. Uh, I don't know, you know, Tennessee was able to shut them down. So maybe you ask yourself, can James Madison duplicate that? But, you know, I think they're a really good defensive football team uh, and they are probably going to give Virginia similar problems, you know, and then on the offensive side of the football, if you look at what they have there uh, this year, you know, you, you bring it, I think they're really, really well coached. Kurt Signetti, um, you know, they've got a, 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 an offensive line um, that's got a um, pretty solid uh, group there. Uh, there's some turnover in the skill position group, but I think when you look mm -hmm. at it, uh, there's definitely uh, reasons to think this team's going to be able to move the ball. They've got a very experienced quarterback in McLeod. Remember, Todd Santeo was their quarterback last year. Uh, he's moved on, so it's McLeod, uh, the quarterback here for uh, James Madison. Um, I just think it's asking a lot for Virginia to, <laughs> to, to, to do much of anything in a positive right now, not to mention Muskets also questionable because he left that game uh, against Tennessee with an injury he was just getting beaten to shit in that game by the balls defense and it finally had an impact on him to the point where he had to leave that game so there's question his status is questionable anthony calandria uh, had to come over, come into that game and take over uh, down the stretch so quarterback status up in the air as to who starts for virginia in this game
Bottom line is I laid six and a half with JMU. Um, and even if this line does creep up to a number where I think, wow, it's gotten too, too, too carried away with how much James Madison is laying in this game, I can always buy back a little Virginia. I'm not even sure I'll do that, though, because if you don't have Virginia in as a bottom five power five team in the country right now, you're not doing your power ratings correctly. Simple as that. You're not. That's how bad this team is right now. They didn't have a good year at all last year. Um, they are right there with some of the worst teams in Power 5 conference college football right now, uh, in my opinion. Connor, what do you think here? James Madison, Virginia. Yeah, they are. And, uh, I mean, that's why the move here has been to James Madison. You know what? I think if you got under the touchdown, you got to feel pretty good. Uh, one thing, even with James Madison – as bad as Virginia is, which I'll get to them in one sec, you know, it's not easy to go on the road and win by a touchdown, but maybe they are that bad <laughs> you're talking about. They just are this bad right now. Uh, you mentioned Musket. He got knocked out of that game. The backup, Calandria, I don't think is any better. He went two for seven. They were, I mean, 200 yards total. I mean, barely they got that. They were five of 18 on third downs. They just didn't do anything. You know, I think Tennessee's pretty good, solid defense, but I don't know about great or elite. Uh, so I get the move. We have this low total because I don't know how, how Virginia's going to put up any points. So even at, you know, 43, now although dropping to 41, uh, I lean under. But I'm off. I just, in the end, I, I don't want either side here. Yeah, that's the problem with the total here in this game is, you know, can Virginia score enough to help you out? I mean, it is going to be the a big question. And now there's concern about whether – it's not like they're going to – Musket didn't play well. So it's not, not like, you know, Calandria can't be as good or better. But, you know, you still got that question. And to me, he wasn't all that much better when he entered the game uh, for Musket last week. So it's just a lot of problems all around, especially uh, on the offensive side of the football right now yeah. uh, for this Virginia squad. Can the Virginia defense help them out this week? Maybe that, you know, and I think McLeod's okay. I don't know, you know, how great he is. So, you know, uh, that's another reason why I'm a little tentative, especially now at almost a touchdown away. Well, here's here's the thing, too, about uh, uh, Jordan McLeod. Um, he was at South Florida, obviously, before that, and uh, Arizona. Um, always had talent, but, you know, kind of some – tough situations here. And it's not like James Madison had this prolific, spectacular court. Like I've still, he had a good year, but Todd Centeno had been pretty much a mess at Temple and Colorado state. Maybe he just need to get away from Adazio. Maybe that was it, but uh, <laughs> I'm telling you what, uh, definitely, you know, I think James Madison last year won with, you know, an okay quarterback, not a great quarterback. So that's all Jordan McLeod has to be in my opinion, be an okay quarterback. Don't make too many mistakes. And I still think it's a team that's going to have, you know, some success this year. 